I have an awesome friend, Sarah Asker is her name, from magnets to Velcro to Colourpop. Her kit makes me want to lift my game. Cheeky Button is the Insta handle to follow. If you want to enter our giveaway, read below. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing your amazing kit. I think everyone will agree that it is lit. Enjoy. Mm. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Um, we're here today with the lovely Sarah Asker from Cheeky Button Face, face, and, body face and Body Art. And um, Sarah is definitely a benchmark with her kit. It is absolutely stunning. So we are going to have a look at her amazing kit. And she is absolutely brilliant at keeping it clean. So um, as face painters, we really do want to keep um, a high level of hygiene. Um, it looks fantastic. The colours pop out. But also it's really looking very professional and um, less cross-contamination and... Um, it's just really beautiful. So and if you just want to explain, Sarah, a little bit as you go yep. well, about your beautiful kit. We can just put that into place to bring the legs down. Now, we might have been using this earlier on, so we have some sponges and things happening there already. And we're just going to come over here and have a look underneath water. what was under there. Pretending there's water in there. We don't <laughs> up cool. our water well. <laughs> and popping that away. Beautiful. And we're ready to start painting. All right, now how quick was that? That was literally, what, 30 seconds, if that, of set up. Now, that's just brilliant. I love that. I'm working towards that. <laughs> um, and literally pulled out a beautiful towel handmade by Cheeky Button <laughs> and you're ready to go. Cool. All right. This is my kit. Um, when I was working out how I wanted it designed, I thought about the kinds of things I would use all the time, the things that I need on the job regularly, things mm -hmm. that I am uh, using either with every face or every, every other face. So whatever that may be it's at it's at arm's reach i'm not having to go into a, a little cubby hole it's it's all out there so most of these things are things that even if i don't use them that often because they're out i'm using them i'm i've got i've got access to them quickly and i can use them more often so they're the things that you know like stencils some people use them all the time other people not so much um, but because they're all here and really easy, easily accessible, I, I use them more often than I was when they were tucked away. Um, I do have stencils that are tucked away, corporate go jobs, football gigs, you know, um, things like that, that you're not using all the time. I, I pop them away because if they're out, they're taking up valuable real estate. I call it real estate. Visible area is real estate. Um, Non-visible is all of the cubby holes all of the ins and outs. I've got all sorts of different things here. We've got clips and clamps, we've got tapes, we've got extra Q-tips, some rope. I've got a spoon when I have to eat my lunch. A small light there. It's kind of superfluous now, you'll see why later. Um, I've got some eyelashes and things in there. These are my Maron Precious Gem Powders. This is a, a new addition. It's my uh, Bluetooth um, remote for my camera, I'm putting on a selfie stick. Selfie stick. <laughs> <laughs> These are all my business cards for people that I work with or work for, rather. And so, I just before she shuts it, I just want to show how awesome that is. She's got them in little plastic bags so they don't get dirty. So they don't get dirty, people. That's right. And I've got extra ones of my own in case I run out or Beautiful. I'm with someone. They happen to say. Oh, that's great. I'd love to put my cards in whatever. So we've got a stack of them there to give in a bag that they can just... Cheeky button. Yeah, that they can <laughs> pop in the handbag without them going everywhere rather than giving them a stack of cards that might get lost. And this side, we have my bag for my dirty sponges once I've finished. It has Velcro on it. I should mention also with the setup I have, I work with a... A ladder so I stand to paint and I have a ladder we don't have it at the moment we're on our fabulous painty retreat which is awesome um, but 
but I didn't bring it with me. So generally I have a ladder, two step ladder that the children will either stand and hold the top of or they'll kneel if they're tall enough. So it's great, I can stand, the child is right here, right in front of my face. I'm not leaning over to them. Um, I found with the director's chair, knees still get in the way. So I'm leaning over even though I'm standing. So standing up with this ladder is, it's great, really works for me. Doesn't work for everyone, but it works for me. Um, uh, I was telling you that because <laughs> I've just <laughs> recently put um, a piece of Velcro on my little bag. I had a clip that I would clip around the handle and it was just taking too long. Everything in the kit has been modified so that it takes the least amount of time to set up. Even down to, rather than having a clip that I've got to wrap around the pole and clip on, it's just Velcro that I can just jam on and rip off at the end. So nanoseconds all that up and at the end of the day if it's taking you you know 10 minutes to set up and 15 minutes to pack up at the end that's that's time you're not getting paid for it means you can fit more gigs in the day and it means you can get from one job to another it means you can take that job whether you've only got an hour in between because you're not having to worry about set up and pack up time brilliant um so back to this there we go we've got my water generally a two-hour job that's all i i need um, I fill up my three wells and I'll, I have a little bit left over to top up my water bottle. I use a dripper bottle as well. I'll show you why I use that later on. Um, I This is an ingenious little, another creation of mine. It's my brush roll, so my dirty brushes. Here we go. Here's mm. all my dirty brushes that we've just finished using. They've all been there when I pack up. I grab them all together. I wrap them up with an elastic band nice and tight and then I pop them into my roll roll them up tight and the bristles are not getting damaged it's not a big chunky plastic box that's taking up room in my kit that doesn't need to it's it it lays flat and folds flat so <coughs> that's really awesome it's, and you made that yes and I made that yes. yep so that's just some um some plastic with some velcro it's uh, like a vinyl tablecloth plastic and uh, yeah it's awesome love it so that just goes in when I'm packing up so that lives in there I've got some powders my Alyssa Griffiths powders there's a new brush Ooh, that they doesn't down, have a home they hiding yet. down there are they, they are hiding down there let me oh. pull it out for you so they're hiding down there yeah oh we need a vacuum look at that goodness me that's all good. Um, her primer. Here are the extra stencils that I was discussing earlier in a great little container again. Which you made. I might have made that. <laughs> um, Wicked. So that's there. And what's this bottle here for? What's that one? I'll Is that give your... you a guess. You ready? Ew, that would be <laughs> dirty water. So I don't have to go and find a sink at the end of the job. Do I'm you have a funnel for that? Or no, like... it does. It just tips quite easily. It just tips straight in. It doesn't okay. really, um, we don't, uh, I don't have to worry about it going, it just, it seems to tip quite well just from the corner there. Sure. Each of the wells goes in quite easily. So they live in there. These are my little extra bits and pieces. We've got some daubers, we've got some barrier spray, small container. Mm hmm Prosaid, small container. What's that? Skin Prep Pro small container. I don't need the whole jar. I don't need the whole bottle. Sure. Bit of sunscreen. This is my little... Oh, look. We've oh, got Panadol matches. Because no one smokes anymore. This is your happy tin. That's right. <laughs> no one smokes anymore, so they don't have matches. And they got to like the birthday cake. Brilliant. Oh, Panadol's got one. Panadol, some Band-Aids, just a little emergency pack there of course that's not going to go back in the way it came out because the camera's on it's okay oh, man <laughs> <laughs> let's worry about that later <laughs> i've got some cotton balls there uh, to use with some of these other products that i have let's just pretend that went back in seamlessly <laughs> <laughs> no it's all good it's all good we know um, it was in there seamlessly yeah. already <laughs> um what have we got? Some star blends, <clears throat> some bruise wheels, some 
hand sanitizer. These are some chocks for my box to level it off. Chocks? chocks hang, go... Oh, hang on. I've lost it. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> Hang on. Ah, this does it's got a mind of its own. Look at that. Oh I'm not God. even doing that. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um go on again Goats. with the chocks. <laughs> so I have some chocks to go under the legs of my kit in case I have uneven ground. They Now have, that's organized people. Yeah. Well, it happens. You're in yeah. the park and it's really weird. Like, yes. Here today awesome. it happens to be level, but they they're magnetized. They stick together by themselves there and, and what is on the, under the lid under the lid yes here we have um well just menu boards we have signs we have another menu board some advertising beautiful we have painting outside sometimes it's just fallen in the dirt Oh, it's not magnetised okay. yet. So sometimes painting outside. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. I don't usually have to put all of it out at once. <laughs> you didn't have to pull it all out. We just wanted to know what was in there, love. <laughs> That's what's in there. I'll just put it here. There we go. So I can cover up the paints I'm not using. Ooh, if I'm doing any. Lush as. Um, if I'm yes, doing any, look, and they're perfect, people. Look yeah, at that. They fit they exactly yeah. where they need to fit. We love that. So the kids who are really handsy sometimes, you just want to cover up your paints. Or if you're under a tree or it's really windy, you mm -hmm. want to cover them up a little bit. I can put those over there. Beautiful. Say you might be doing a corporate gig, they only want you to use corporate colours. You don't want all these fabulous, beautiful rainbows sitting out to, you know, entice the kids. You're just allowed to use red and blue or whatever it might be. You can cover everything else up. I can get my black and white here easily, flip that over, and um, away we go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So there we go. And all this, all this has come from me thinking about problems that I've had. All of these solutions have been um, have come from me having an issue at a job, from me um, yeah, having a problem and, and having to solve. And it's very specific to you too, isn't it? Like well, that's right, yeah. we all we and all we paint work, differently, exactly. we all have different all products have, and different kits. And we work differently, yeah. and we do different jobs and Yeah. Yeah. So that's all gonna be different and quite specific to you. So, then we go in the other side. Oh, here we go. We'll oh. go under here. Oh, hang so on. More spare towels. A okay. Pallet knife hiding under there in case we need to do some excavation work. <laughs> um, I've got my working with children's check card in there, oh, which is lovely. a requirement in Australia that we have that. There's hidey holes everywhere. Mm. Just a little spare black and white. You know, in case you run out, just all of a sudden, hang on a minute, didn't realise there wasn't any black and white left. I've got a little spare stash sitting Beautiful. there. Beautiful. Look at all these lovely colours, people. And again, that's magnetised to the side there. So lots of stuff of yours here is magnetised, isn't it? It is. <clears throat> Most of it's magnetised. So talking about hidey holes, I'll show you my other secret stash under here. Just lift this, this up. There's our wipes that I don't really use anymore because I've got my beautiful reusable my reusable wipes here that um, are fabulous for cleanups yeah. and I can just throw them in the wash when I finish with them. And they are handmade by Sarah they and are. sold at the, the Looney Bin. That's right. So, .com.au. Oh, hang on. Oh, my gosh. Look in there. Oh, my gosh. Look at them hiding under there. We've gone down the rabbit hole. That's right. <laughs> so these are my, oh, my God, I've left the brushes on the kitchen sink. I forgot to bring them. Do you reckon that would ever happen? <laughs> Maybe once or twice. You never know. <laughs> oh, shit. This thing is <laughs> loose as. Hang on. I'll just bring it back. Hang on. I don't know how to bring it back. So okay. these are my spare emergency brushes for, mm -hmm. in the, you know, Beautiful. remote chance that they might be left at home. Excellent. So that's that in there. We come into this side. Oh, I'll come around this way. All right. In here we have, yeah. this is new. It's my yeah. ring light. Working in the dark, working in Rings pretty lush. evening I love jobs. It. Yeah, so it's really cool. I just got it from eBay. It really wasn't expensive. Comes with an extendable pole. I've just made myself a little mount that's going to go 
on the side. Ah, oh, so you've just got this. Yeah, yeah. so I, yeah. I haven't fully set this yeah, one up sure. yet. So that'll that'll just go on there. Anyway, that's not quite ready yet. I also have another light here for my kit when it's really dark that just magnetizes up there. Whoops, just to those magnets. And lights up my whole kit. Both of these. Oh, okay, so it hangs off those hooks there. Yeah, well, just, that's a bit special. Just, just, oh, and it's magnet. Awesome. Yeah. Easy. So here's How a great easy example. was that? This is a new, these are new, okay? It's literally 30 seconds work because it was doing my head in. I was having to come into this area here and grab out my little clips and put them up here. And then I was doing this and I was then hanging that on there and it was annoying me because then I had to put this down I had to put these away sure. so I thought how do I make that easier magnets, magnets. look just bang that on there and away Brilliant. we go so again time saved maybe 30 seconds does the light work at the moment it or? doesn't but I can oh, show okay. you that I'll turn it? it on let me do that so just in here here's my power pack that again oh. I've got tucked in there so I've got a little Tape. It's yep. just duct tape. Oh yeah, that's like it's a bracelet. battery. It's a battery. It's you a put battery. your battery in the, in the toys. <laughs> that's right. And it's got the little lip on it. That's cool. So it's um yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. So it's just a power pack. One of the um you know things you can buy to charge your phones and stuff. So mm -hmm. we charge it up, and that clips in there, and we turn it on. And then there was light. And we have light. <laughs> and Brilliant. so when I'm at a job, this just Ooh. hangs over there. And this is one of the few things I have Velcro on. And it just hangs there. Brilliant. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. All right. So the ring light runs off that as well. Oh, cool. So, so have and you got the ring light? Is it going to sit somewhere or? So it'll what sit do you there. Think? Well, what do you, it'll go when, no, when you set it up, where do you so think? So it'll go it? here. Oh, okay. It will go here. Sure. And be coming down from Ooh. above. So that'll sit here like this. Yep. And be mounted up there. Okay. So that I have light coming down. Onto. Over the top. Sure, so you can I'm see painting. the kids. So I can see the kids. Adults, adults. Yeah. Most of the time it's adults. Yeah, um, beautiful. Fancy dress makeup mm -hmm. or whatever it might be. You're generally at someone's home and the lighting's not fabulous or the down lights and you can't see what's going on. Um, so, yeah, I thought, I had, and I had that very problem the other day. Again, had a problem at the gig. How do I solve the problem? What am I going to do? And this was my solution. And you sorted it. Yep. Wicked. I um, love that. So that all just goes back in there. And all of these things, again, they've just got to be easy to get to, easy to pack away. <coughs> this clips up and out of the way so it's not rattling around in my case. Yeah. I've got Breaking Velcro anything. there. Yep. It means it's tucked away, up out of the way. It means it leaves this whole area free for me to put. That's where my handbag goes, actually. Oh, cool. That's where my handbag lives in there. Um, so if you, just a question, mm -hmm. um, if you are going to a gig, mm -hmm. is this all you will take or do you take a bag full of sponges or anything else? No? I just take that. my ladder yep. and I have a mat, a, um, a rubber mat yep. that I stand on as well. So that's great when it's cold and you're standing on a concrete floor in a factory somewhere, you know, um, sure. Bunnings or which is a hardware store. Um, if you're outside in the park and it's wet ground and you get freezing feet, so I'm standing on a rubber mat. So that just lives on top here. It has Velcro that just attaches there. It's cut to the same size as the top of my box. So Brilliant. when I pack up, that goes on the lid. The mattress, go, the, the ladder goes on top and um, it protects the case from the ladder. And away we go. Oh, brilliant. I love it. Yep. All right. So there's more. Yeah, I haven't finished. Okay. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm loving so, it. I'm like, hang on, still. Extra oh, yeah. sponges. Oh my gosh, extra I, sponges these, too. These, this is more than enough. These are more than enough sponges for, I can do a six hour job with these sponges, even using one sponge per child. Generally, you know, you're using a lot of one strokes as well. Mm -hmm. um, so if it is a six hour gig, I'm going to do more one stroke than 
perhaps I would normally to make them last but yeah it doesn't look like a lot of sponges but honestly it they last um if in the event that they don't I have a few extras or in the end in the unlikely event that they get left at home never happens <laughs> have some more spares here brilliant. Well. Mm-hmm. brilliant um I have a bag here that's velcroed to the side that I can just toss all my sponges in my dirty sponges dirty wipes and things I have a spare one again if that gets left at home because that comes inside I've got a spare one of those too also doubles as a bit of a rubbish bag I can use that as a rubbish bag if I have beautiful well I don't use it to be honest anymore very often because I'm not using my wipes anymore so um, the wipes go in with the sponges what else have we got in here mm. oh these are some festival glitters that I was going to sell if people wanted to buy them but they're just sitting there bit of lippy who doesn't love a bit of pink lippy hey that's just for me um, this is my square reader. Oh, so if I rather <laughs> sorry, if I need <laughs> to, and just you know, FYI, this is an Altoids tin that we don't get here in Australia, but I was lucky enough to go to Fabaic a couple of years ago and picked it up there and just sprayed it because I didn't want it to look like Altoids, an Altoids tin. <laughs> and oh. there's the other one that I have there that I've made pretty painted. I made Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. And that goes just there. Magnets. Magnets. So they live in there. There's my cords. Again, they're oh yes. They're restrained. They're mm, not everywhere. everywhere. They're restrained. So they live in there. That lives there. This lives here. They live in there. These are just cardboard, firm cardboard and gaffer tape, the little <clears throat> um, boundaries. Again, to keep everything contained, keep everything um, tucked away. A little brush for brush, brush. flying glitter or whatever. Beautiful. I use that for my primer, for my Alyssa Griffiths powder. Spare stipple sponge. And that's... Oh, look, there's more. It's all in the lid now. Let's go up. Up this way. Sure. Just before we do, sure. I just really want to show everyone under here uh-huh. magnets. So we can swap them. But out. the gaffer tape is over the top there, and yeah. it just looks really professional and all black and so when you easy need to, to clean. clean it. Yeah, when Look you clean that. it, you just whoosh, wipe it all off. And Pop it back on. Throw them back in. Gorgeous. Like that. Love it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just go over. So now we do the lid. <laughs> Beautiful. Go for it. This is case foam. It's quite firm. Um, I've just used a Stanley knife to cut all the way through. Yeah. It looks like I've got I've cut a chunk out, but I haven't. I've just chamfered the edges slightly on each cut. And when the brushes are in there, they leave their little mark. Uh-huh. So that so you didn't put that no, hole in there. No, I didn't put that just hole. Put, That's just where they go. They it. just snap they've in there. They've made the hole. Yep. Awesome. And I go if you're wanting to do it yourself. It's pre, it's like literally half a millimeters. Um, you go to within half a millimeter cutting cutting this way um, to, to, to have end. a join underneath. There's no need to to leave a huge gap or anything there. It means that you can get a couple of brushes in there too for your smaller brushes. Look at all and these gorgeous brushes. And I have a question. Sure. Um, why do you have the brushes standing up? Um, why? Because um, I was thinking about doing my kit and putting the brushes The ups- other way around. Yeah, Let me... so that the paint and the water would be down. These are clean brushes. There are no dirty yeah. brushes okay. up here. Cool. So when they are were taken from there, yep. they're used and then they get wrapped back up and taken inside and they don't go back in here unless they're clean okay and um when they're i don't i generally put them back dry i'll leave them flat to dry Mm -hmm. um there's no real reason i guess i just they do look a bit more pro i just put them in that way and that's how they went yeah Um, so what do you do with your brushes when you're using them when you're on the gig on the gig where do they sit where do they live so we don't get them all messy big ones oh I don't even yeah. see that that's actually on a hinge as well just because I'm insane <laughs> you're awesome no, right you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that's on a hinge 
uh, so that it sits forward and away from my case, not making my case dirty. Mm-hmm. And the brushes don't get and the brushes on. don't uh-huh. yeah, get yeah. wrecked on hitting on anything. Uh, <clears throat> and it pops back when the case gets folded down. Beautiful. So my bigger brushes, or my rounds, mm. generally live down here. This is Sculpey clay that I made, and again, you guessed it, magnetized. Magnets. So I, I can clean it. underneath it easily. So is that on a cord or something? On a curly no, cord? It's so just, I just you finished making it and it took me hours and then I had to go to the shops because we had no food and I happened to see hanging on, you know, the side bits on the aisles, um, I happened to see um, these cord covers there and I'm not kidding you, it was exactly this. It was, it looked exactly like that and I... Yeah, it died was... Died a little? Yeah, died a little. I died a little, so... <laughs> but at least you can say you did it. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, anyway, that's where they live. Beautiful. So they, all, all my specialty brushes and not round brushes, brushes go in there. Okay. Lovely. And that's where they live when I'm working. But every time they go back there. I, You know, I need my wire to pick up my wire, to do my wire, to thing, blah, blah, blah. And it goes back into its home. Let me do that again. Do the blah, blah, blah. And then it goes back. That's gorgeous. I love it. Um, They don't get left everywhere. That's where that lives. That's where that lives. Mm. And less cross contamination with things, which we'll get into. I'll talk about that later. Yeah, we um, can do that also. Water, paint, yeah, brushes. Not everywhere. No, not everywhere. One place. (laughs) And you'll notice these are quite small too. I don't have a lot of paint in these. There's this is about a quarter of a. What are the 45? 30, no, 20, 32, the 32 gram 32, okay. cakes. That's maybe a bit less than a quarter of sure. one. So I've got, how many colours there? 40 odd colours there. And it, it's not weighing a tonne. If you've got full cakes, you're not getting a lot of colours and it's weighing a lot. Sure. So everything in here as well is low weight. When I made, I actually made the box as well and it's made out of a special um, lightweight ply. It's a special... <clears throat> It's forty percent lighter or something than normal plywood. Um, it's not quite as strong, so I have to be really careful with it. But it's my baby. Yeah. So and how long have you had it? I've had this now for this one probably four years, five years, maybe. And how long have you been painting for? Eight years. Eight years. Mm. Okay. Cool. Yep. Awesome. All so right. Oh my gosh. Glitter! I've got glitters again. They're all magnetized, <laughs> so I can just look at that. Did you just see her chuck that? Oh, Let me do it again. Let me do it again. You've got to do this in slow motion. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. That was so cool. Again, small pot, little pot. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just these two dollar shop pots, and the lids weren't attached, so I put a piece of gaffer tape on them. So now I can just flick them on and flick them off again. Again, time and motion. It's not taking a lot of time <clears throat> to do that. We've got some mm. glitter glue, uh, not glitter glue, prosade. Prosade. Which yes. again, just magnetized. Magnet. Yes. Wicked. A little pin. The amount of times you need a pin for whatever reason. So there's a okay. couple of pins sitting there. We've got up here. What? Wait, are you what, ready? What, what? Oh, scissors. Now, scissors. that is a must-have in any yeah. kit, scissors. I like the way so you So these, that. again, these are just eBay purchase. It's and very just... Batman-esque. <laughs> they just, again, <laughs> magnetised up there. Up there. Another creation of my own. This does two things. Stops my business cards from falling out, which are there, but also tells people what time I'm finished in uh, painting. Which we all need. Is that a real clock? Well, it's real in that it exists. <laughs> but no, it doesn't move by itself. It's a real clock because I finished it. Three o'clock. <laughs> Ring light to oh, put on wow. my phone. Oh, wow. You are lit. Yeah. Again, magnets. Does she see that? The way she chucks that. She knows how. It's, she and knows I know exactly to where it. to chuck it. Too. Yeah, What's yeah, in here? Yeah, What's in it. here? Um, I'm going to say stencils, but you've got your stencils up there. So mm. I... Oh, yeah. I know. She knows now. Bling a bling. Bye bye. Oh my god, look at that marsh stuff. Oh wow, they're beautiful. And of course, these are handmade by Sarah. They are. And I also made the little booklet too. You can see there, it's just two pieces of plastic with some cardboard and some banking paper that they're stuck to, Ooh. and some 
Gaffer tape there holding the little pages oh, sorry, in. Sorry, I didn't get that. Yep. Gaffer tape holding the pages in. Yep, beautiful. So that there's gaps in between so they don't squash the bling. And do you find you use the bling a lot or? Sure. <laughs> but I like the bling. Sure. I love the bling. So. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'd look yeah. one or two. Yeah, no, I probably get the birthday girl, birthday boy. Um, and if they're particularly kind or polite or have done something nice or they've been kind in the line or they've the last person in a really long line or whatever. Yeah, okay, cool. As Personal tries. Uh, what else have we got? Pen? A little, oh, that again, was cute. mini pen, little pen. Don't need yeah. a big pen. Yeah. Use a little yeah. pen. Love it. Um, d- facing downward so that the ink is doesn't not, yeah, go everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so that I can use it straight away. Yes. Again, time and motion. Yes. Um, all my stencils are up here. The long ones were going everywhere when I was... Um, I love these stencils. ...in transit. So I've got a little, again, magnet there. I can still get into them really easily. I just pull them off. Watch her chuck it back on. Watch her. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, so pack up is great when I'm need the stencil I want I go cool I take this one this one I want bang throw the others back up there do what I need to do on the face bang it back up there if I want if I look I don't always wash them in between each gig I might just give them a little wipe. Hang on, don't say that yet I'm oh. cutting that out <laughs> okay <laughs> I wash the, them every that's time the only faux pas yeah. of Sarah Asuka <laughs> <laughs> yes oh, we found it <laughs> <laughs> so, well, generally, mm. I'll wipe them down. I'll give yeah. them a, a wipe. Yeah, and I'll, yeah, got yeah. back in like that. Yeah. Um, but oh wow, yeah, that's awesome! I, if I'm I using love that. Them, I can just pop them on the side yeah. there. Let's have a, a closer look at the magnet on the. So um, how you've done that? Let me open it up for you. Oh, oh you don't I have to open it. You. you don't have to open it's it. It's just, just a little rare earth. Yep. They're rare earth magnets. Yep. They're quite thin. I think that's like one point five mil. Um, Are they on both sides or just the one? There's just one magnet so on So there's there. one magnet. Yeah. But the polarity, which is the side. Know, yeah, the yeah. side. They're all obviously the same. And yes. again, because I'm. See, look how gorgeous way, that is. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm way too um, anal about things. See how they all line up perfectly? Yeah. yeah. We like your OCD ness. This is what we're aspiring totally for, people. OCD. We don't need to be like Sarah, but we can aspire <laughs> to be like Sarah. <laughs> And so pack up is literally just popping See? that back up Ooh, there and yes. it's not going to go everywhere. Um, little mirror. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> and that lives on the sides there. Oh, look, the Velcro. Oh. So they can look at themselves in the mirror. Mm-hmm. And there's um, a little one there. And a little one there for the small children. And there's another one on the other side also, if I happen to set up oh. the other way and I want them to go around the other side of me. Nice. So it means I can get them off my ladder. Cool. Awesome. No worries. The mirror's just down there. You can have a look. Next. Nice. For so, the fast gigs. Yeah. yeah. Again. Mm. Quick, quick, quick. Time. Quick. Time is money. Yep. Awesome. What else? Oh, Last spot over there. One, go, go on. Like more hidey holes. Yeah, we like the hidey so, holes. So I've run out of business cards here. Magic box. <laughs> It is a magic box. Is it, it one is of those? It is literally magic- a magic box. Like, watch, I'll make them disappear. Wait on. Oh my god! Oh, they're gone. That's magical. Wait a minute. There they are. <laughs> I love it. So again, it's hard to get them out. So just a simple little lever there. Oh yeah, one of the like battery, battery levers. Things, yeah. <laughs> so they pop it. in there. So if I am leaving, I'm leaving a party and. Um, I'm packed up and I'm on the way out. Oh, have you got a business card? I'm not having to put again. This was an issue. Put it down, take the ladder off, take this, open the box, grab this. Doesn't matter. Sure, got it right here. Hand it off to them and away I go. Beautiful. Um, and I've actually got another one. You might want to come around this side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Under here underneath oh hang on because it was annoying me i still need to keep them in my kit because this is my little indulgence ah and it's under there 
So I can wow. still get to it if I really want to. So is that magnetised? No, that, it's no, not. It was Velcro just a little, that's a Velcro and yeah. strap there, my little Ben Nye palette. Beautiful. That I've got sitting under there because it was getting in the way. It was sure. a bit cluttered in that compartment and I wanted to keep it free of having to lift up too many things. That yeah. was the key. I mean, this one particularly here, these... One of the reasons I got rid of the Ben Nye palette out of there it was because I didn't want things on top of each other. I want to be able to have one layer. Um, so this is one layer and directly under that I have those that are easily accessible. I'm not having to get to the next thing under the next thing under the next thing. Um, oh, I like so this it. is why I had my little thing over here attached to the lid because these were sitting these were sitting just on top there like that I see and I was having to lift this out to get to all of those and that was doing my head in so I thought hang on if I just put it up there then they're lifted out of the way until I need them and the few times that I do need to use them again all other people's all other people's um products and um you know <laughs> products are uh Easily, uh, easily accessible if people ask where I get my products from, then I can give them that. If I'm here from someone else, then uh, if I'm sorry, if I'm at a gig for someone else, I can give them those. Sure. If they don't have cards, some of them got, this, uh, got, got postcards. So that's where sure. they live. Beautiful. And that's again why I have my um, uh, signage under there for that same reason. So it's out of the way, the way. and then it's only there for when I need to use it out of the way for when I need to access everything else underneath it. Awesome. I think that's I think that's it now. <clears throat> no, I suppose <laughs> by one more thing. Okay. Just this section here. Just ah, okay. your door. I don't think we did that. We didn't go through the door, ah. so we've got some eyelash glue. I've got some tweezers because sometimes you just need tweezers. Need tweezers. We just need them Eyelashes, sometimes. Um Dirt. chunky glitter in your paint chunky glitter in um, your paint brilliant yeah dirt look here's a bit there's a piece of chunky glitter look get that out brill here's another piece get that out um so that's that and then a couple of daubers which i don't use that often but i still have there surprisingly but it'll get filled with something else it'll very get shortly away. it doesn't get used soon it's gone. gone how long do you give it i've given them longer than i would normally give most things also that. <laughs> yeah, cool. And my Alyssa Griffiths powders, I love them very much. And yeah. I just keep forgetting to do them because they're not on top. Right. Stuff that is out and on top gets used like that. Awesome. Mm. Brilliant. I do more with adult jobs um, and costume and faces and things like that. Yeah. I will use those sort of products. And when I'm using those products, I use my covers then as well. So if I'm using using those sort of things and, and doing those sort of jobs I'll cover up the paint so I've got a table basically instead of having to worry about cross-contamination and having um, the you know paints the, the containers damage the paints I've got a nice clear working surface to to work on wonderful so yeah. we have just finished our gig and we put all our sponges and brushes in the bag we take them inside wash them we're washing them straight away it doesn't always happen, but I tell you what, it is so much easier to clean them when you clean them the same day. They just come up better, it's faster, and they're not sitting there developing germs and things overnight or over a week, whatever. At least, the least I'll do is come and give them a rinse when I get home and uh, give them a nice warm rinse and give the sponges a nice warm rinse and lay them out, take them out of the bag and put them out somewhere. It doesn't matter if they're drying with paint on them, it's okay. If they're drying, then the bacteria is not getting, it's not gonna, you're not gonna have six sponges and six brushes. So we've washed them all beautifully. Those ones, because I haven't actually, because we're just using them. But we'll pretend they're clean and we've just put them back. And they're right. dry, aren't they? And they're they? dry. That's yes. right. They're not going back in wet. They're going back in dry. These are also... I have cleaned these. Ah. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> this is my prepared earlier. Um, so we're putting these back in. In my lovely brush holder. I 
have um, my blue number round, uh, number four round, and my red number four round. Okay. So blue is for. Sorry, my... I just, sorry, I just want to see that. Yeah. yeah, there we are. So I've just used Beautiful. nail polish, I think, for those to mark them, so that I can quickly see them when I want to grab them. And they are for. They are for my blues, yellows, purples, and my red sometimes yellow, pinks. Um, uh, yeah, and and more warm colours, easier to clean. It means I'm not dirtying up my water quite so much. Um, I'm able to, yeah, separate the colours a bit easier, and I'm not moving the paint around quite as much. I'm keeping them less muddy and and all that sort of stuff. So if there's a little bit of paint left in this one, and it's red, and I'm putting it into, if I put it into blue, I'm going to end up with mud. Whereas if I'm putting it into yellow, it's it's just going to be a, a little bit more orange. So that's keeping my paints a bit cleaner. And do you just do that for your rounds then? Is that just my just, rounds yeah. pretty much, yeah. Um, because they're small and I can keep them and they're easier to clean. Um, I do have a lot of um, one stroke, I use angle brushes. Um, I do have a lot of those as well so that I don't have to keep washing all of the colour out. I dip them in my brush bath, which has my antibacterial um, brush bath in yeah. it. Um, so, yeah, that helps keep them clean and eliminate the nasties as best we can. So um, we clean and we dry. Yeah, we clean and we, we dry, dry before we put it away. We put them away. That's right. I, yeah. them. I like to leave them in the sun for a little while. It's awesome. Um, yeah, especially the sponges. Sponges, mm, yes. Sponges are really good. And... And what about your paint? Like your paint. entire kit, mm-hmm. if I just must say, mm-hmm. we've we've just had an absolute glorious look at your kit and it is super stunning and clean. Um, how do you keep it looking just everything so fresh? Everything has a spot. Yep. My brushes, when they go down, down there. Mm-hmm. My rounds go here. My angles and my specialty brushes go here. And my dirty sponges go here. They're, they're, they're done, they're out of the way, they're finished with, so they're, they're away. So it's, yeah, really having a spot for everything and making sure that it goes back in that same place. It's, it means that you're working more efficiently too because you are, you know exactly where to find it. When I put that down there, I know to pick it straight up back from there. It means I can work faster, I'm working more efficiently and that's also very good. I probably clean my paints. Um, I'll always give them a bit of a wipe over after uh, each gig when I get home or even before I start the next gig, I'll just sort of have a quick, because it takes me so little time to set up. I'm you have more time. quite a bit early. I'm, I'm not going to paint extra kids if I don't have to. I'm not going to, if I've got a, a party that I've booked for two hours and I've got 15 kids, I'm not going to paint them early and be finished and standing at the end doing nothing because it looks like I'm wasting my clients' money. So I'll make sure my kit looks awesome. I will set it up and go, cool, no worries. Five minutes, kids, ten minutes, kids, and I will clean everything up. And it looks great too to be seen to be doing that. I'm making everything's making sure everything's looking smick, putting things away if they happen to have fallen out or been moved or if that didn't happen to go back in the right place. Um, we're looking at the tweezers earlier on. I'm just looking here, I've got these rogue glitter particles here. I can see they've got caught up in a few things. I'll just you know, grab them out where I can. Um, again, this is when I've got time. The, the 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 mere fact that it's so quick and easy to set up means that I've got those extra seconds to make sure all of this is polished. I'm not having to worry about pulling everything out and taking lids off everything and opening things up from bags. It's all there. It's all out and all ready to go. Um, so, how do you keep your paints looking so clean? I use my wipes. So your awesome wipes you my need? awesome wipes. Let me see here. Oh, dear, that's terribly. Oh, no, my goodness. Look how dirty that is. Bit of a spray. Clean my hand off. Give the paint a bit of a spray. The magic wipe. Beautiful. Done. And then... Oh, it went on the ground. No, it no, didn't. It, it went in the Beautiful. Bag. So again, 
this, it's right back there. That's where it lives. Um, I said I would explain what this is earlier on. Um, it's my little dripper bottle of water. Uh, I use it so that I don't, so I've got fresh, I've got a fresh little extra bit of water. I'm not having to go back in with my dirty brush, I'm not having to go back into my pot of water. I can just I grab my, it's sitting there like that, so it's literally, I can do it with either hand. I'm like, oh, I need some extra over there. Okay, little oh. dash. And I'm not spraying. I could spray, but when you spray the paints and they're already activated, when you spray them, sometimes you get spray back and it goes over everything. And dirty zip. Dirty zip. Wonderful. I love that. It doesn't. That doesn't give you spray back and it just gives you a tiny, you know, one or two drops of water, which is all you need. Um, Beautiful. To reactivate your paint. Awesome. Mm. Thank you so much, Sarah, yeah, for no showing problem. us your beautiful kit and how you keep your kit clean. So, again, people, if you're looking to have an awesome kit, aspire to this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Sarah, if you can oh, okay. show us how quick it is to pack up. Do you want to pack up? All right. So, first of all, okay, kids, see you later. Gotta go. Take my dirty brushes. them in there, dirty sponges go in there. My special Velcro just gets straight onto the um, the ladder. I'm just going to put them over there for a minute. And we're going to take our water which mm -hmm. we pour in here. Look, so much water, so much water. Come add, I'm just I'm yes. acting. <laughs> acting. Lid back on. That in there, close the litter, the glitters, close all the glitter. Here it down. Now what? I will grab my mat and put it on as well. And I would grab my ladder and put it on as well. And I have a clip here with the opposing clip on the ladder. They clip together. And ta-da! <laughs> <laughs>